Thomas, uh, lovely to meet you. You have this amazing manuscript by Sir Isaac Newton. Can you tell me more about it? This is a kind of dream manuscript for a scientific manuscript. Newton is one of the greatest scientists, and this is Newton writing about his greatest work, the Principia. It's seven years after he wrote the Principia. He's thinking about doing a second edition, and he realizes there are corrections he needs to make, there are sections he needs to expand on. This second edition that he was thinking about at this time never saw the light of day, and this manuscript was totally unknown, so it, it slept in obscurity for 300 years, and then suddenly, here it is, we can show it to the world. Yes. It's quite dynamic, there's sort of lots of crossing outs and additional words. It's like sort of travelling through time, you can almost hear the pen scratching over the surface and get that feeling of his thoughts sort of being projected onto the page. Exactly, and that's what I love about a manuscript like this because you've got one of the great minds of history thinking things through in front of our eyes. It sort of feels almost like hallowed ground. What Newton did with Principia has set the way we do science today. He was coming up with ways of understanding it mathematically, but he was also making telescopes so he could get the data and verify his mathematics. That is effectively the scientific method, uh, and he was doing both sides. This is an amazing object, but where did it come from? Well, we know it started out with David Gregory, this young Scottish scientist. David Gregory was one of the earliest people to understand just how important the Principia was. He started making notes on it in the months after it was published. He was able to start corresponding with Newton and say, what about this? You know, I don't understand this section. Is there a typo here? Is there something you need to explain there? This particular manuscript comes out of uh, a, a six-day visit of Gregory's to Newton in Cambridge in 1694. So it's very nice because you can place it exactly time and place. Down here, these are the bits in David Gregory's handwriting, and I think David Gregory has drawn these diagrams. We can just get this little glimpse of the two of them in a chamber together at Trinity College, working away, completely gripped by the fascination of this whole new understanding of the universe. The Principia was such a step forward, so groundbreaking. To, ha to have additional notes on it by the author just seems, uh, yes, a, a, a gem. Paper is so fragile, you know, it doesn't take much for it to be destroyed. Even being able to follow the trail of paper down the years um, is very, very difficult. It's not like a great painting when everybody knows where it's been. Yeah. And so they're like kind of fragile boats you know, sailing down the stream of history. Suddenly, there it is in front of us. And it, yes. and it survived all yes. this time. I just love that. It's, I find it so inspiring. How does the work of Newton, how does the Principia um, have an effect on, on your own work? Yes. So uh, the Principia is sort of the basis for effectively all we do. It's his theories that do allow us to travel into space, to land probes on Mars. Uh, uh, the telescopes that we use are now mirror-based, which he came up with. And so to be standing here in front of something that he wrote just gives me goosebumps. <laughs> so, so I'd just like to say thank you so much for this opportunity to see this and to see, yes, li literally the master at work. Well, thank you as well, Maggie. It's been great to talk to you about it. Thank you.